الصارف Soon, Jackie Chan, Stephen Ewan and Rayvon Khan have in common why well, they're all a maze list of eligible men. Orientation offers a challenging and satirical dig at our society's attitudes towards Asian people as lovers. And we are now joined by actors Marwan Salerio and Natasha Daniel. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. This show looks really cool. Natasha, well, call you Tasha actually. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Go for Tell it. me what it's all about. Um, basically, it's, it follows May. Um, who I play um, on her journey to find love, essentially, in short. But um, she has been finding love in all the wrong places, essentially. So she wants to kind of go back to her roots and start dating some Asian guys. OK. Mm. Yeah. Marwan, what made Chai Ling want to, to put this story out there? Um, well, you know, for whatever reason it may be, there's just um, a very little, um, what do you call it, exposure of Asian people on, you know, on the screens already, especially um, as lead, like, you know, love interests. So, um, you know, we're not out there in the market, so Shai Ling has opened up the space for us to come in mm. and um, perform stuff like this and, you know, be able to be exposed in mm, characters yeah. that we don't yeah. normally get to do. And it's funny because it's at a time, too, when a movie is making a, a lot of talk about the yes. movie. It's mm. crazy, crazy rich Asian. Asians, yeah. Asians is, is, is huge at the moment, mm. so nicely timed. So... Obviously, you talk about some very um, big issues, but it's satire, isn't it? Yes, it is um, a lot of fun. It's very funny, and we do it in um, such a way that um, we utilise things like puppetry, dance, um, there's an orgy scene. Like, there's, it's, there's lots of fun, fun stuff to come along to. So tell us about May, your character, Tash. Um, well, she is biracial, um, so she's from Chinese and European descent, um, and she's kind of a mess, <laughs> um, to say the least. She's, um, I would describe her as a little bit basic, a little bit unwoke, um, but she just tries so hard, and you kind of can't help but love her for that. And Marwan, tell us about your character. <laughs> Well, Case is a Filipino bodybuilder who moved uh, from, the, yeah, from the Philippines when he was like 13 and now he's in mid-twenties and he's pretty much just assimilated his way into uh, New Zealand culture, trying to run away from his own. Um, so yeah, for him that's just a huge clash of identity and trying to figure out who he is at the same yeah. time. Right, so he's on Tinder dating all the... All the, all the... <laughs> Tinder, Bumble, you name it, he's okay. on. Okay, <laughs> right. Are they based on real life experiences? Is that how this has all come about? A little bit, yeah. So when Chai Ling originally wrote it, um, it was from a lot of her experiences in dating. And, um, yeah, so some of the conversations in the play are from her direct experiences. And who else is in the cast? <laughs> Apart from Marwan. <laughs> uh, we've got Mayan Meta, Eugene Yao. Um, Carl Chuen. Yeah, Carl Chuen, and then yeah. us two. So if you go onto the Pat Orientation page, um, on the Facebook and Instagram, you'll be able to see all of us on there. And of course, it's brought to us by Proudly Asian Theatre. So tell us about that group. Yeah, so um, Chai Ling Huan and um, James Roque um, created it. When would it have been, like, four years ago? Yeah, we've had James Around on the show then. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, just because they weren't getting any roles, essentially. They were like, no, we need to make some roles for ourselves. So, yeah, they've created this, and now it's become this huge company. Um, yeah, make yeah. it work. Just pushing it. Yeah. Isn't it amazing, too, that you can use this medium to, to tell those stories, to get a message across yeah. and really hammer that stuff home? Definitely. I mean, like, if, you know, if the message isn't being heard or isn't even being said, then it's up to you, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Marwan, you are of Filipino descent, but you were sort of you've been in Topol for how many years? I was in Topol for about 18, 19 years, and then yeah. I moved to Auckland for uni. Yeah. And yeah. so, what made you get in touch with this this theatre company? Um, I knew them already from Unitech, where I studied my bachelor's in performing arts. Mm. Um, and to be honest, when they started talking to me about all the, all the Asian um, culture and stuff, I had already I was so far off from it anyway. So I was like, ah. Oh, I've never delved into my own Asian culture. Um, I've ne I haven't even gone back to the Philippines before. So, hey, it'd be awesome to talk to people mm. about this who've got the same experiences. 
So you've not been back to the Philippines? Oh, I've been back now. I was about I've to say, been back yeah. now after 20 years. Yeah, I've been Good. back now. Yeah. I should hope so. Yeah. Oh, it sounds pretty cool, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Like a great play and uh, a lot of fun as well, which so is the right fun. way to get the messages across. Thank Can't you wait. both so much for joining us. Thank you. Orientation plays as part of the 2018 Matchbox season at Auckland's Q Theatre. From this Wednesday until September the 15th, you can check out the Q Theatre website for ticket details.